Huntington's disease, also known as HD. So what is HD? HD is a progressive neurological degenerative autosomal dominant disorder that can affect either gender. It is based on the mutation of the Huntington gene on the fourth chromosome, and this mutation causes the expansion and repetition of the CAG trinucleotide in the coding region of the HCT. So how does the disease affect the brain? HD causes the loss of neurons in the corduate and the putamen of the basal ganglia, which causes the atrophy or shrinking of the sage striatum and enlargement of the anterior horns of the lateral ventricles. How do CAG trinucleotides cause neuronal cell death? The current reasoning for neuronal death is in the satrium is the increased number of mutated protein groups within the neuronal cells, causing excessive firing of the neuron leading to high levels of intracellular calcium, which leads to neuronal cell death. How do we know if someone will develop Huntington's disease? We can determine if someone will develop HD by counting the number of CAG trinucleotides on the HTT gene. A range of 10 to 35, HD will not occur. With a range of 36 to 39, the HD has a chance to occur. With a range of 40 to 49, HD will occur, and anything above 49, juvenile HD will occur. Generally speaking, the larger the number of CAG trinucleotides, the earlier the, the onset of HD will occur. The disease can occur from any age from infancy to death, but it most commonly occurs in middle-aged individuals. So preference, there are two stages of HD. The pre-manifest stage, where the individual has the disease but hasn't begun to occur, and subjects are indistinguishable from control subjects in terms of symptoms. And the manifest stage, where the disease has occurred. How can you tell if someone has the Huntington disease without genetic testing? For individuals in the pre-manifest stage, emotional disorders such as depression and anxiety are common, but it doesn't mean that the HD will occur in other individuals with depression and anxiety. Generally speaking, in the pre-manifest stage, the only way of determining HD onset is through genetic testing. For individuals in the manifest stage, the very symptoms of a HD will be, present, will be present. So what are the symptoms of manifested HD? To initiate, once HD is moved into the manifest stage, the individual stage is further divided into five more stages, ranging from early to advanced. During the early to and mid stages of manifested HD, individuals could experience some of the following. Motor impairments such as involuntary movements, loss of coordination and gait impairments, cognitive issues such as decreased speed of information processing, speech and swallowing impairments such as stuttering, emotional disorders such as depression, impairments to cardiovascular function, and unintentional weight loss. The mid to late stages of HD almost always consist of the XL of all the previously other stated issues with the addition of bowel impairment and bladder impairment. How does hunting disease affect motor control? The main factor that affects movement control in HD is the degeneration of the chordate and the putamen of the neuro due to neuronal death. This degeneration causes the de decrease in basal ganglia output nuclei, which results in unconstrained signaling from the motor thalamus. This unconstrained signaling causes a myriad of motor issues, such as athetosis and bradykinesthesia, which is slow involuntary movements of the hand and limbs the main two are chorea, which is unpredictable twitch-like involuntary movements of the trunks and arms and face, and dystonia, which is the involuntary contraction of the muscles in a twist-like motion. This is generally known to get gradually worse throughout the span of the disease as more neuron, neuronal cells die and the striatum degenerates. Treatment and interventions of HD. How can we treat HD? Currently, there is no employed treatment or intervention that can prevent or stop the onset of HD. Only theoretical ones, such as the use of stem cell replacement theory to replace the neuronal circuitry function by replacing lost neurons, or the use of the drug Replicade to reduce the expression of neuronal calcium sensors, known as the dream protein, which is shown to increase neuronal protection in HD. But the current most promising theory is the use of antisense oglionucleotide therapy to catalyze the de degradation of HTT and henceforth the progression of HD. But once again, these are theoretical studies and have no guarantee of working on humans. But can we treat the symptoms of HD? For some, yes, and for others, no. For chorea, the drug tetrabenazine has shown to decrease incidence in voluntary movements. For the emotional disorders such as depression, there are various drugs that aid these, and the same for insomnia. But for some of the cognitive, cardiovascular, bowel, bladder, speech, and swallowing issues that are associated with HD, there is no known treatment for them.